Hi everyone, happy Monday. Hello, hello, happy Monday everyone. So um, today we're gonna be talking about if you think that there is too much competition in the acting world, in the acting industry, and if that is what you feel is stopping you from being able to act, from being able to book, from even maybe being able to start, right? So you may be feeling when you go to auditions that there's way too many people that are being pitched for the role, that there's many, many too, many, blah, 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 way many too people that are submitting for a role and that therefore your chances are just so slim because there's so many people and they may have different credits and they may have more experience than you and they maybe you think have better attributes than you maybe you think they fit the role better or they you know have a different look that will fit better so you you may think that all of these um external things may give them a better chance than you booking the role right and that therefore if when you're submitting for something there's 30 other people that are submitting you may think that you know, what are the chances of you being seen? I've also heard actors say, well, you know, they look through the tapes or when it happened in audition rooms, as soon as they find someone that fits, they actually stop and they don't look at the rest. Um, so it's so unfair because you do all of this work and you wanna, you know, put yourself on tape and really show up at your best. But then if they never look at even your tape, then what are your chances of booking, right? And I get that that can be frustrating to think that there's way too many actors and only that many roles and that therefore the odds of you booking are really small and it can be frustrating. So maybe you're taking class after class, you're trying to get better at it. You're trying to learn better techniques, better methods, you're trying to work with better mentors, better teachers, better coaches, so that you can rise above the others and become better and know more about it and, and really kind of win the race at, um, at getting the role. And so of course I'm gonna debunk that today um, and I'm gonna talk about what is really, really happening. What's the root cause of maybe you not booking is definitely not competition. Um, I'm even gonna push it a little bit and say that there is no competition in acting because the way that you are coming to acting in the traditional approach is to actually learn acting, to get better at it, to become a better actor than the others and to do it right and to apply all the tricks and all the methods and then if you do all those things if you check all those boxes well then you'll be better than others and then they'll see you and then they'll book you right and actually that's really not what is happening um, in the selection process of an actor what's really happening is that the actor who is being seen as most appropriate for a role is the actor who is showing up in his or her very unique essences. The actor who is able to show up being truly 100% themselves has no competition. So let me explain that a little bit better. If you take a batch of 10 people who are studying acting the traditional way, who are acting the method, who are learning the methods, the techniques, the tricks, the script breakdown, script analysis, and who are doing all of those things, they're probably coming in, being relaxed, calming themselves down, being really confident, trying to make the best choices, really learning their lines, trying to understand the beats, the emotions that need to be touched, and then come and deliver that, right? And if most actors study that way, which is true, they mostly you know, teach acting in a very traditional approach, all actors will come and do that thing. And so there will be competition. Those 10 actors will compete with each other because they're all proposing the same thing, doing it right, looking good, feeling calm, feeling confident, having a mask of behavior to be appropriate, all of those things. When you have an actor against these 10 other actors who is coming in, not trying to do it right, 
not trying to be calm, not trying to not feel any fear, not trying to be confident, not trying to look good, not trying to please, not trying to do it right, but just being themselves and bringing to the role their life, which means the truth of what they feel in the moment, that actor will stand out. That actor will be seen. That actor is the only one that's coming in truly alive. The other ones are coming in with skills and methods and tricks, right? With a craft, with a way to do this. The other actor is coming in raw, naked, open, truthful in the moment, not calculating how do I get to the outcome of booking, but actually really being there for the character, not paying attention to their ego and how well they do things, but again, paying attention to what the character is busy doing in the scene. So those are two different things. When you take the traditional route and you learn all the techniques and the methods and the craft, you're starting to be technical and methodical. You're starting to be calculated like a mathematician and acting is an art. It's the art of being fully alive, a hundred a hundred percent alive in the moment. And when you're using a bunch of tricks and methods, you're not 100% fully alive in the moment. We even have actors in our community who are very well-trained actors who have acted all their life for decades and who lost their sense of true self because they've been knowing how things go so much that they rely on, I know what's going to happen and I know how this goes. And so they don't actually really let themselves discover the moment fully as only they would anymore. So it's really about if competition is something that scares you, that brings up some resistance in you, if competition feels like it's the only thing in your way to actually acting and to getting the jobs that you want, I'm going to invite you to shift that focus away from competition. Competition only exists if you, you show up with the same methods and tricks and doing it right. Competition disappears the moment that you are able to show up as you because there's no other person like you. So when you show up 100% you, guess what happens? The casting director sees you right? Doesn't that make sense? If you show up as you, a hundred percent fully you, not hiding anything, not shaming anything, not repressing any of the stuff that you're feeling, they will see you because you're fully alive in the moment. You're fully connected to the truth that's actually happening in you instinctively. You're there. If you're not showing up that way, what are you showing up as? With a mask with a pretend, with some fake, with some methods that you're relying on, that you're counting on, that you're hiding behind. And then guess what happens? They cannot see you. They cannot see you because you're not showing up, right? So if you want to be seen, show yourself, actually show up. And of course you'll have some resistances. You'll have things in, inside of you saying, well, but I can't show up this way if the role is that way, right? You may think that, and that's a false belief because you have a belief that if a role is described this way, it needs to be done exactly that way, which is not true. What's interesting is if you see this role and you melt with it and you bring your secret sauce to it, that is what is going to make you fully alive in that, alive in that character not studying it, not coming at it with, I'm sorry, not coming at it with your methods and your craft and your skills. Um, I think my Instagram just got so dark. Oh no, it's working. So if that makes any sense to you, um, let us know in the comments, send us a DM. We can send you some information to make sure that you know how to reach that truth in you, that uniqueness in you.
right? Because you've been conditioned to think a certain way, behave a certain way, feel a certain way, move a certain way since you were a child, right? From your parents, from the culture, from education, from school, and then from acting school. So there's most probably like some sort of mask, some sort of guard around who you truly are, some armor around who you truly are, that is a learned behavior that has nothing to do with your truth, right? So there's a way to get under that resistance, under that mask that's built up with the years so that you can get back to your truth. When you get back to that truth, then you don't think about competition. You're fully expressing yourself. You're in the moment. You're fulfilled. And there's only one version of you. No one could possibly do you. And therefore, there's no competition. When that happens, when casting directors see you in that unique way, if you don't fit the part, they'll give you another part. Because guess what? They saw you. If they saw you, they got a feeling for you. They got a sense of you. They actually were able to connect with you because you showed up. If you're showing up with your tricks and your methods and all your learned behaviors, they can't see you. They can just see your skills or your, you know, your goodness at acting, but they can't see your greatness of how human you are. How are you capable to be fully there in the moment? When they see that, that's when you triple your booking ratio. That's when they offer you another role or they rewrite your role or they make it longer or they change the accent, the race, the gender. It happens all the time in our community. Once you get to your free authentic self, people will see you. Once they see you, they feel you, you move them, they want to work with you. If they don't see you and you don't fit, it's bye but they don't call you back for something else. Okay. All right, you guys. So let me know if you have any questions or send us a DM if you want uh, more information about this. If you already want, um, if you click in the link in the bio or in the about section on Facebook, you'll find um, a free training. It's called Stop Trying to Be a Good Actor so you have a chance of being great and that will help you to take some first steps with this work of being you, being 100% you, not 50%, not 70%, not like, oh, I'm great when I'm doing my neighbor's short movie, but short film, but when I have a great opportunity or a big casting or a lot of pages or it's for tomorrow, when there's pressure, I'm not 100%. You need to be 100%, especially under pressure, because that's where the big opportunities knock, right? Okay, all right. Thank you guys for all the hearts. Hi, Sammy. For all the hellos. And yeah, I hope this makes sense for you. And I'll see you Wednesday for a juicy interview. Okay, bye.